One of the most common yet overlooked pieces of any ecosystem are lichen. And there are so many different types of lichen out there from crust lichen to tube lichen, rag lichen, hair lichen, plate lichen, lungworts, and many, many more, which means they're incredibly adaptable and exist nearly everywhere on earth, even in the most remote and harshest of environments. But lichen aren't easily reduced to a single species in the way that most life on this planet is. And that's because lichen are actually made up of two or more different species. See, lichen are formed as a result of a symbiotic partnership between a fungi and a green algae or cyanobacteria, or both in some cases. In this partnership, the algae live inside the fungi, which is what gives it that cool minty green hue. And they give some of the energy they create through photosynthesis to the fungi, who in turn create a structure that optimizes that photosynthesis and gives them somewhere to live in an otherwise inhospitable environment. So they're both working together to provide for each other in an ecosystem System where they wouldn't be able to exist independently and when they reproduce through fungal spores the success of those spores growing into a new lichen depends on whether or not they're able to find compatible algal partners this means that lichen are fluid in a sense in an always changing relationship between two different species from two different kingdoms in which both parties need to willingly enter into in order to lichenize now this collaborative existence has evolved independently nine to twelve different times on our planet and is always changing as fungi find new ways to partner with one or more different types of algae as an ongoing example of how incredibly resourceful and collaborative life on this planet it is working together to keep on keeping on. What a beauty.